Here's my journey. I've had a love for people for as long as I can remember. I attended a small Christian school, preschool through 12th grade, and although there were many times I begged my parents to send me to a public high school, I am able to look back and see the many memories I was blessed with that I wouldn't have experienced anywhere else. In a small school, you have the opportunity to build strong bonds with teachers and students, which was perfect for a people person like myself. There was a teacher, Dr. Valerie Payton, who during my senior year, despite my big plans for going into nursing, she would always say that I'd make a great educator, and without trying to force my path, she was able to pour belief into me and give me a confidence that I could be many things in life. Fast forward to the summer after my sophomore year of college when I was in a boating accident and had to have emergency brain surgery. My attempt at returning to the nursing program was unsuccessful, and it took months of tutoring, several class withdrawals, and a lot of perseverance to stay the course in pursuit of my undergraduate degree. I knew that I had invested way too much time to walk away, and I valued my education too much to let this stop me. Embracing this accident and seeing it as a victory chapter in my story kept me focused on coming out stronger. Choosing liberal studies made sense because at that point in my journey, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, and it seemed to give me the most options. The recovery process taught me that I was strong and adaptable, and when I met my husband that year and later followed him in pursuit of his football dream, I learned that I was resilient. After several moves across the country, adding four universities to my transcripts, and a beautiful baby girl years later, I finally finished my undergraduate degree. Was any of this easy? Absolutely not. But God takes these opportunities to teach us and mold us into the person he created us to be all along. All of this has taught me that nobody's road is the same. And more importantly, it's important that it's not so that we can all have a unique experience to share with others. I've been able to reach so many students already who struggle with anxiety or hope, and I remind them to trust that God already knows their next steps. As a teacher, I can use my college path to inspire students to be resilient with whatever comes their way and to choose to be an overcomer. Because of my history with Christian schools and my open book life that I am more than willing to talk about with anyone, anytime, and my passion to bring Christ into the classroom, I feel very comfortable in a private school setting where I can share openly. I think that people often assume that these schools are sheltered and that students don't experience the same struggles as other students. But having been part of these communities for so long, essentially my whole life, I know that's not true. I hold, I've been holding on to a guilt for a little while that I could be making a bigger difference if I took my love for God and my love for people into the public school sector, but God shows me daily that my place right here, right now, is at the Christian school where I'm currently teaching. My time in the credentialing program at Azusa Pacific is affirming this by emphasizing that it's the relationships that will make the most impact. Students won't learn from teachers they don't like, and this applies to every school everywhere. So instead of focusing on what subject I'll be teaching or where I'll be teaching at, I just am realizing to make the most of where I'm at and learning that the obstacles that might arise on this teaching journey, I need to focus on the most important piece of all, the people that God has placed right in front of me, my students. I can believe in them. I can see them for who God created them to be, regardless of their mistakes. I can just love and pray them through these school years with the hope that they catch more of Jesus in me than any academic knowledge. Impacting lives as a teacher for his kingdom is what it's all about.